Well, a Tampa man was found dead inside his home. His accused killer was discovered hiding under a living room couch. Police arrested Lazaro Martinez and charged him with first degree murder. And the details of this crime are chilling. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez joins us live from the newsroom tonight. So, Gloria, what did you find out about this case? You know, you're right. The details of this case are horrific. And we found out that a lot of it was caught on video. It's, that's pretty alarming. Mark Sadik is still in shock over the gruesome murder of his neighbor, Robert O'Connor. Uh, a little bit concerning. You know, this is a quiet uh, neighborhood that we live in, quiet street, especially being right next to the police station and fire station. So to hear something like that going on, uh, just a few houses down is, is pretty scary and concerning. This three-bedroom home on East O'Cara Road in Tampa was the scene of a horrific murder, and police have arrested 25-year-old Lazaro Martinez on first-degree murder. Police say O'Connor and Martinez met on Grindr, a gay dating website. On November 7th, they met at O'Connor's home. Investigators say the two had sex, and later when O'Connor asked Martinez to leave, there was a fight between the two. Documents show the murder was caught on home surveillance video. They say it captures Martinez strangling O'Connor and standing on his throat until his body goes limp. Records show Martinez mutilates the body with a large kitchen knife. Four days later, Connor's co-workers find his body wrapped in a blanket in a bedroom, while police say Martinez was discovered hiding under a couch in a room. Police arrested Martinez and spent three days processing a bloody scene. Yeah, there was police um, cars all up and down the street. They had the whole street taped off so you couldn't even drive down. You had a detour to go around. Yet many neighbors never heard or saw anything. Yeah, I had no idea that was even happening. Didn't hear anything. I spoke to a couple neighbors and they didn't hear anything or see anything suspicious. So that's, that's pretty alarmed to hear that, it was, that they were uh, um, basically disposed of that way. Martinez remains in the Hillsborough County Jail. He wants out of jail. There will be a bond hearing on Friday. We will let you know what the judge decides. Back to you, Allie. All right, Gloria Gomez in our newsroom tonight. Gloria, thank you.